Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. Use soap on your cast iron skillet. And for the love of God, do not put it in the dishwasher. All right, guys, outdoor idiot here. Gonna whip up a quick little breakfast snack before I go fishing. I promise you guys, I would show you how to cook that fish roe. So that's what I'm gonna do for breakfast. Got it sitting in a little salt water. That just helps that fishy flavor, guys, on any sort of fish, wild game, anything like that. Salt water, it's just, it's magic. Simple guys, super simple. Butter, garlic. That's about it. A little salt and pepper to taste if you like. All right, let's get this going. Medium heat. Back to have, happy to have my own stove now. Once I'm back from that cabin. Those gas stoves are all right, but man, they're hard to clean. I like these flat tops. I'm, and you're always more comfortable with what you cook with at home. There's something excited. This is gonna be a wonderful breakfast. Ooh, I might make a little egg with it, guys. Mm. Mm. A little over easy egg action with some fish roe. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be in heaven today. Hopefully, not literally, just figuratively. You know, one day, but not today. I got lots of fish to catch. Wait for this to heat up here. And there's the trick too, you don't want to put your butter in so early that it's going to brown so hot and it's not, it's going to burn and you know, you want to cook everything together and quick and fast. So I like to get my pan hot first. And to me that sort of just sterilizes it too, you know, I don't ever use soap on these things so you scrub it and then uh, heat it up and I feel like that sort of cooks off any of the germs. I don't know, maybe that's just my idiot brain working. Goodness, we gotta get that egg out too. Letting that pan heat up. Get it hot. Should have been up a couple hours ago already fishing, but what are you gonna do? I'm actually supposed to be leaving for Florida today. Let's go down there with the in-laws. So sort of our last trip before our move. Try to sneak in a secret fishing trail. So make sure you check out that video too. I got a long honey do list today. I'm fishing I ain't on it. So we just won't tell a life. I always smell like fish, so I mean you won't be able to tell. I wear the same shirts every day, multiple days. So, already stink. Oh yeah, this one's starting to go. All right, I think we're pretty hot, plenty hot. Oh, it's already cut up for me. Grab your hands, don't be afraid. Again, we're in the south, we get our hands dirty around here. Yeah. Yes, and that's enough. I don't want to use too little. So we rinse these off heavily, guys. I'm gonna come in here and scoop them up. Now, if they're in this big sack, you could bust them open like that, and it'll cook a little better. But it's just sort of personal preference because if you bust them open, it will. To me, it, it tastes less fishy, but uh, when you leave them in the sack, it'll make the inside sort of soft and you get a little more fishy flavor. So again, it's just sort of personal preference. I like them both ways. I mean, you're about to soak them in butter and garlic. You can't really go wrong. A little of this in that pan too, guys. This is 
try to not do the same thing. I don't like dirty and too many dishes. I should have scooped the garlic with that same spoon first, but oh well. Get it in the kitchen. I have to call it that. Oh, a little extra I like some garlic. And we buy fresh garlic a lot too, but we keep this on deck. It's handy, it's easy, quick and easy breakfast before fishing, you know. Always good to have minced garlic on deck. People are probably cursing at me too when I use metal on my cast iron skillet, but I take good care of mine, guys. It's properly seasoned. You see any scratches on that thing? I don't. Alright, here we go. We're about to have some action, action, action. Be in the money, guys. It does not take long to cook this. Drain it here. save a whole lot again if you're not gonna eat it fresh it's not worth saving to me this is something that most people waste I like to eat it as a quick and easy appetizer so just a little salt and pepper guys not much just a hair just a hair here I mean a pinch you know you don't want to take away too much of that flavor just want to enhance it but you don't want to be just eating salt and pepper on your fish roe. Look at that. Oh, in there. I'm going to leave that one sort of together in the sack, both of them here. I must have lost some rinsing it off. Oh, yeah, this is cooking fast. Oh, yeah. It's changing colors. We're looking good, guys. See it all turning that pretty yellow. Oh, man. It's gonna be good. It does not take long. And again, guys, this is one of those recipes. It's it's all mental. I've never cooked this for somebody, and they not absolutely love it. So if you can get over that mental block, oh man, you will love it. I'm telling you. Please try it. It's super easy. And again, any fish. I've eaten every single fish except caught. So every fish I've caught, I've had their row. Every type of species. And I can tell you they are slap your mama good. So we're gonna put this in a little soft pan here and cook up an egg. Try to grab a little bit in here. That'll be perfect. And don't wanna overcook it. You can eat it raw. I do that to a lot of people too. It freaks them out when you're filleting a fish or something. Just Throw it in your mouth, oh, it freaks people out. Pretty fishy, so you just gotta like that flavor. Some people love that flavor. I like to try to get rid of it a little bit. Butter and garlic. Love and goodness, that's what I call it. Little love, little goodness. Butter and garlic. Onion is the enhancement. We didn't have any onion today. All right, this is about perfect. I don't want to overdo it here. I want to cook that egg. We get all that in here. That egg here. All right. I'm going to eat that with some rich crackers and an egg, guys. It's going to be perfect. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be tasty. Should have enough butter in there. Let's see if I can do this here. A little one-handed crack. Always making a mess, guys. Try not to bust out that yolk. Throw that away in a second here. Throw a little salt and pepper on that egg too. Just a little bit again. I don't want to be eating just salt and pepper, you know. Just a hair of salt. Boom. In the money now. And then we're just gonna pull that whites away from that yolk and it'll cook a little more evenly. Although I don't have a spatula right now, so I'm gonna flip this. Everything is dirty. You see a little ingenuity there. I broke the yolk anyway, so I might just do an improvised sunny side up or fried egg. Here we got this spatula. Again, you're probably cursing at me for this metal and cast iron, but we're gonna try to be gentle here. It's not how I normally cook my eggs and fish road juice, but I thought it'd be good with this recipe. And it's breakfast time, so. Adding a little egg would be delicious. Sort of a fried 
thing going on. I was gonna do a over easy, but again, I normally cook my eggs, so I uh, busted it up. I normally cook them over easy, but not in this scenario because it didn't work out. I normally have bacon grease or a lot more butter. It happens, guys. If you ever make over your eggs, you bust the yolk from time to time. Mm, that's gonna be good. Ran out of paper plates. Going back to these dishes. Leave it a little runny. Boom. Hard for me to see that high up. You can eat this with any type of crackers. We just so happen to have some grits. That ought to be good. That's plenty. A little bit of breakfast food there. There we go. Keep your wife happy. Thank you for me happy too. I don't like stale crackers. If we can get a scoop here and show you guys, it's gonna be good. Let me pray first here. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for all that you do for me. I pray that you bless this food in your name, amen. All right, guys, check this out. Sort of looks like some grits. Sometimes it's a little more off-white, sometimes it's a little more yellow, depending on the fish. So it's gonna be good. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Guys, I don't hit women, but man, I'm mad to smack my mama hard. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm. Mm. I want to go catch more of these just for this row. Oh man, forget that egg. This is amazing. Oh yeah, I'm going to top some of the egg. That's so good, guys. Do yourself a favor. Save the eggs. Don't waste them. Mm. It's so good. I was going to save some of the egg, but I can't. Guys, oh my goodness. Amazing. Always amazing. Oh, man. This may be my favorite row right here, guys. I usually, crappie row and trout row have been my favorite so far, but oh my goodness. This shell cracker row. Mm. Mm. Mama taught me better than talking my mouthful. It's sort of sweet though, and it's really good. You get that savory with that butter and garlic and the sweetness from that row. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's heavenly. Heavenly. Oh. That's so good. Try to scrape it clean here. Get a little bit. I got a little bit I'm going to top that egg with. Scrunch that down. Breaking my crackers here. Oh man. Mm. Guys, please. I urge you. If you take away anything from my videos, start saving the eggs and cooking them. It's so simple. It's so easy. It takes no time at all. It's so good. So please, don't waste those eggs. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my secret fishing trip.